Oh, is it the one that he set up down here? Yep, there we go. Good morning everybody from the tour. The tour is defined as at least one overnight stay at a lake and or <laughs> multiple lakes. It's going to be multiple. Multiple yep. in many cases. We've had many people ask about what is the tour? T-U-R. T-U-R. That's what it R. is right there. Me and Lunker's out here today with our buddy Ryan. You've seen him in some hunting vidges. What's going on? We've never fished together so today is our first time. Wow it's windy. Very windy conditions, looking like a little front situation, but full bones approaching. No Let's clouds. go see the bluebirds. They usually don't bite. Now we gotta make them bite, right? <laughs> We're gonna force feed them. Woo! Let's go get it done! Yeah! There's no bad beans. Okay. That's um, uh so you know what that means? That means a chunk and a wind. I think that's a chunk and a wind situation for a little while. Yeah, I did. You hear that? that Sounded like a that was super shy. You see a dead pig floating? No way. Just starting out and uh, started out next to a dead pig here. Yeah, and we can smell it pretty good. If this was smell o vision you guys could really lock in on this beautiful stouch. That little dark spot right next to Rob's hands is, uh, that's it right there. It's like booty. That's worse than booty. Yep, there's a buzzard up in the tree. He's thinking, Today's my day. Oh yeah, they're ready to feast. Yep, seen better days. We'll start out flipping this little grass line. Rob's in the front throwing a swim bait. We got Ryan throwing a stick bait along this. So we're, we're covering three different tactics. I just caught some hydrilla, just fresh green out there. This is like swim jig. Swim bait. Oh. Little, oh. Yeah. That's. Super shallow, right? Yeah. It's like a two pounder. Basically had no drag. Yeah, no drag. Swiss Outlaws from the other day. Well, I had one fish here. Back beyond the grass. Beyond the grass zone. Yeah, it's probably got a lot of like little bugs and stuff too. So the bluegill are probably loving it. Whole life cycles up there. Oh, one just busted on the outside of the grass. Got one on the swim bait. Oh, here we go. Oh, he swallowed it. Yeah, I got him. Woo, he sucked it in. Sucked it in good, boys. Good fish. That's a pretty one there. That's a, Guess a what? On that fish. Right on the bank. What's the, uh, what's the belly look like? It's looking pretty fresh, dude. Is he fresh? Not a, not a mark on the tail yet. Yeah, that's, I, mean, I, I mean, that's a thing. fresh looking. Oh, yeah. He hasn't hit that Jenny Craig dive yet. Dude, he just, he, it, was, it wasn't a tap tap, it was just a doop. A little weighted swim bait. Slow rolling it on the bank, and heck, that's a really, really good first fish for out here, so. See you, baby. I was going pretty slow with it. Yeah, that first bite I had too was pretty, it was like just, just off the bottom. Number dose on the swimmer. He's a little dabbler though, a little grass dabbler. We're finding that these fish have pushed back past this little hay grass line. They're up there eating the little nutrients. You see one swirl, swirl back there? Oh, I see him. Right behind the grass line. Oh, that's a Cinco fish if I've ever seen one. Third fish. I'm sitting up here just. Oh, that's one. Got him. Up Doubled up. Doubled up, baby. Up over the top, over the top, over the top. I was about to say I'm fishless. Okay. Swim bait fish. Alright. Hey, about the same size. Boom, boom. I don't know. Could have been staging bass. Huh? Could have been staging bass or post spawn bass. Okay. Fish down there. Wait till I go over it. Definitely fish hanging on this point. Which is really. Oh, now they're busting up there too. Oh, wait a second. Looks like a ditch. We just haven't ran over it. 
fish, one. fish, fish, Sorry. fish. Oh. I'm breaking out my Texas rig. Man, you can see them clear as day with all that setting too. The one on the, hey, Rob's hooked up. Better fish. Right there. That boy, Rob. Found those. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Found them. Spot log it. I think this is that hard point, dude, where it's rock. And that ledge makes yeah. sense. He's, oh yeah, he's deep. deep fish. Got one. You got another one? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, the old pale one. Pale, pale fish. Hey, we found them out here schooled up though. My, these are either pre or posters. <laughs> Looks a little beat up. Dude, this this scream it screams crankbait like, oh. You have to look, look, there's big fish right there. Um, oh, gold? Gold, yeah, gold. Gold's good. Uh, show me the way, Rob. Of just like oh, go. oh yeah. under the boat. Whoa, whoa, I know it's probably gonna be a bottom dweller. Oh, you got one? Yep, it feels small. Oh, a little better. Second one on the crank. Got a little bleeder here, guys. Here's what you want to do with these. Get them back in the water ASAP so they can coagulate. He was on the bottom. I barely touched bottom and he got it. So he's on the dirt like super bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's, woo, got some friends. Out here on the terror, you find that school game, things get hot. Oh. <sighs> give him, give him a good old got a little better one on the Tejas rig. The old square jaw, square jaw male. He is a post spawner for shizzle. Is he? I'm telling you, there was, remember those, there was like three or four that were just chilling together underneath the boat. Trying to get dumped to. Probably the first time I've caught fish on a lizard in years. <laughs> Since 1998. You're done pounding face here? No, I'm not quite done pounding face. You want to pound some more face? I want to pound a little bit more face before we move. Okay. And we very well could find another little face pounder spot if they're post spawn like this. <laughs> it's like left and right. Just, let's <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> you just got to drag in a jig, baby. Just, just got to give it a dangle, dude. Give it a dangle. Who's going to fish the thing? Oh, hey. That's a barn burner. Hey, one more face crossed off the list on this hole. While I'm just Captain Morgan it on the cooler. Go ahead and stand up there. Before we can move off this spot, mm -hmm. the face must be ribbed. I agree. Basically. Oh, oh. Get him. Heck oh, yeah. There go. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe black and blue really was a big deal. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> there it is. First cast right with the. Top of the mouth. First cast with the green one. Mm-hmm. Hot. Right. It's color, guys. <laughs> it's green. I like booger colored yeah. worms. Booger eating toads, man. Push the prop button. Top right hand corner. Right That's side. It. Right above side. The, uh, above the end button. Top one. And the prop one's on the left. Yeah. Oh, it's a different speed thing. No, no, it's still going, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Push it. Well, there's no. Well, there's no button. No, no, don't press, don't press the prop. Dude, press what the, prop. the hell am I doing here? Press the prop, because it's still going. <laughs> now lift it up. Now pr no, press the blue, the blue button. <laughs> you see the gold switch? You got it, Rob. <laughs> We're just jacking with you. <laughs> that was what you call a post-spawn schooler spot now it's full of a lot of little fish we tried it out for a little while i think we probably caught 20 fish and didn't see any big ones i was just throwing a texas rig lizard which i probably haven't thrown in 15 years and uh, caught a few on that we all caught fish had a few on crankbaits it was about 12 to 16 and then there was like another drop out a little bit deeper where those fish were sitting they're full of water out here you often see fish pull out on points when you know they're doing that but 
so far the biggest fish that we've seen have been up in the shallow grass. So now we're trying to look for some cleaner water, get on that swim bait game and maybe see one and give it a angle. My gosh. Look at that chasing. Look chasing up there, Rob. Chasing big time. Dude, that's a big bass. Dude, 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 get your swim bait out. Get your swim bait out. See it rolling? See it rolling? That's that's the biggest fish we've seen out here. I don't know if it was chasing bluegill or it almost seemed like it was rolling. You know, it could just be actually spawning. Over there. I'm going all the way back here. Still four feet and the water's clean. You might be able to get one on a frog here. Excuse me. See ya. Oh, looked a little strange reeling that thing left-handed. Find ourselves amongst the pads and the brush. Mm -hmm. Well, I just heard a frog get excited and I got excited. I was like, hmm. You hear that little frog? I call it a laughing frog. It That's a bald eagle. That's a bald eagle. It is a bald eagle. Look at that cast. Okay, this is it. Soaring through the sun with my talons. <laughs> Get you some of that, Osama bin Laden. We, we've eat. reached we've reached the moon phase, where it's it's time to lock down. Feeding's done. I I would agree with that, but I can't really want to agree with it because we can't see bats. Because the water's so trash. They're going, they're going deep submerged beds. It's that time of the day. 547. There's no way he has a fish. Does he have a fish? Dude, he might come over us with a fish just to shove it in our face. Exactly. Watch your foot. He's got a fish. Look at him. He's so majestic. If I was a bald eagle, I'd want to live in Alaska. Yeah. I because agree. I mean those fish, I mean they're just munching on salmon down here. He has eat those turd burglars. <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat bass. I'd rather eat a big old meaty salmon. You'd think there'd be one just come up and pop that dang up frog. Jeez Louise. Throwing a dang on left handed reel, giving you every damn chance in the world. I'm gonna just send it down this doo doo looking bank. <laughs> Why not? I mean stuff ain't making sense, you know. Well, these fish can go eat corn cobs. That's how I feel about it. Don't know, y'all. Big old question mark right here. Blink, blink, blink. Don't know what's going on. I do know we're in ET and it's time for fried catfish, though. Catfish and good times. And toothless women. They got some teeth out here. Come on. <laughs> we will put some kind of fish in our face. Time to fire up the longer wagon. You gotta let the little squigglies die off for your crank on this diesel. Boom. She's a sweet sounding son of a gun. Oh boy, that's a that's a full blown crooked deal there. Alright, a little bit of a situation here. Some angler has uh, run his boat up onto the bank. Okay, okay. Well, ladies and gentle freaks, we've made it to our final destination for the evening after chowing down on some fried catfish and good old ET. <laughs> you know how we do it on the terror. We're gonna get up early and go do it again, but I wanna leave you with this note. If you wanna come fishing with me and Lunkers, the come and take a shirt is down in the description if you wanna sign up for that puppy. And you can come fish with us out here. You might catch a bass or two and have a good time with us. You'll get fried catfish for sure. There you are. Yeah, now you're in focus. Okay. Not in focus? Yeah, now you're in focus. Oh, 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 oh. If you guys want a little bit of catfish action. We got to get our rest so we can go catch Mondo's in the morning. <laughs> oh, Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> There's one bed in here. I hope that thing pulls out. Adventures on the turn, y'all. <laughs> Subscribe. It's just a good time. We'll see y'all next week.